People always say, America sucks, capitalism's bad, but in all honesty, is America not great, really? Stop and think about it. Yeah, America's had a sordid past, but name me a country that didn't. But look at America today. Only in America can the most untalented people find fame and fortune. In America, play some American music behind me, Stu. A woman glues her f***ing hair to her skull. And then someone turns around and goes, She could give beauty tips. Dude, imagine a guy who kept falling down the stairs because he didn't know how to tie his shoes. Being sponsored by Nike. Think about it. You know, the dude just turns around and goes, Just do it. I can't even preface this. Because I'm literally telling you right now. Gorilla Glue Girl. The woman famous for gluing her head with... Gorilla Glue, which you could look and there's no commercial Gorilla Glue ever that even remotely told you, you could use this in your hair. They didn't hint at it. They didn't allude at it. You look at the Gorilla Glue bag, box, whatever bottle. The bottle says, if you get this on your skin, call the police right now. Get help. And this woman's like, hmm, this could be good for my scalp, baby. The Gorilla Glue has launched her own hair care line, honey child. Too blessed to be stressed. That's not it, though, but it's a good tagline. The TikToker chats with Allure about her new hair oil and hairspray, plus why it's been so difficult to create the perfect edge control. Who would buy this? Like, what normal human being? That's like buying hair care or skin care from Trisha Paytas. Like, why would you do this? This person isn't even mentally stable, and you think they know something about skin? In between being nutty as hell, they stop and have something really astute to say. Well, if you mix coconut oil with a bit of avocado spray, it'll help your pores, you know? Back in February, Teresa talked about how her hair got stuck to her damn head. In the slick back fade, baby. Braided ponytail after running out of her got-to-be-glued blasting free spray. She grabbed Gorilla Glue spray instead hoping that it would give her the lasting hold she desired. Unfortunately, that hold lasted for almost a month before she came to the social media platform to share the experience and warn against ever using super glue as a styling product. Damn, that's something a child could have told you, honest to God. And let's be real here, people are going to be talking about this to the day she dies. When she is in her casket, Mother f gonna give a sermon. Teresa Brown posted on TikTok in February 2021, child. <laughs> and rose to stardom by gluing her hair to her skull, baby. And it launched a successful hair care line Rose. called Fit to Be Tied. All right, this whole article right here from this website is basically recanting the fact she glued the glue to her head. I'm not looking for that. Tell me about this hair care product, baby. And now, four months later, she's refusing to let that unfortunate situation be the only thing she's known for. Nah. Just like DSP's known for jerking off on YouTube and being a money-hungry, poorly mismanaged mother <laughs> you shall and forevermore be the Gorilla Glue Girl. We're only giving you a hair care line because you Gorilla Glue Girl. Nobody was looking for your hair care tips back in 2020. Nobody was interested until 2021 when your scout was burning from Gorilla Glue. All right, let's go. I'm sorry. Uh, she's using it as an opportunity to start her own hair care brand called Forever Hair. I see the pun. It's officially launched on June 16th with two products. Growing Stimulation Oil. You know it's a lie. Have you seen her hair? Like when she got the Gorilla Glue out, the ponytail was fake. So how are you going to sell me something on hair growth stimulation? Y y this ain't real. This is false advertisement. That's like a chubby dude trying to sell me on weight loss products. It's working for me. I only wear triple XL now. And forever hold spray. Thank God the market needed that. At night, she massages a few drops of the oil in her scalp. And loves the tingling sensation it provides. It's infused with several different oils. Like that of avocado. God damn, I was joking. <laughs> Price Hilton. You probably don't know who he is or care. 
He's most famous now for going on like YouTube and making TikTok accounts and crying to Charlie D'Amiglio, begging them to help him so he could be on TikTok again. He's a full grown man. Them for help. If anybody could help me right now, it is Charlie D'Amelio's family. And with all of the humility in the world, I grovel to them and I pray that they could find kindness in their heart to please help me. But I guess he's gay, so you get to act like a woman at times. I don't know the gay rules. Fill me in in the comments. <laughs> At one time, a hundred thousand years ago, he was like the it girl of gossip. Yeah, like, Deaf Noodles took his crown and he's never giving it back. Let's see, uh... Naturally, the viral star drew from her scary hair incident that made her TikTok famous in February before pitching a new brand Forever Hair, which she was apparently working on for months. Okay, sure. I mean, I'd believe that if she was there mixing the oils herself, but even then, I would not buy hair care done by her. If anything, this is some Chinese product. And she just slapped the name on it and it's drop shipping. I don't know. Forever Hair is also selling $14 setting spray for a firm flake free hole with lasting shine. Gorilla Ghoul Girl is famous for gluing her head. You know, back in 1970 something, Eddie Van Halen literally had to be a guitar virtuoso to reach these heights. Now Gorilla Glue Girl has this, and it don't make any sense. I don't even, I don't believe a damn thing this thing says. Oil promises to increase blood flow to follicles. Bullshit. Oh, four months ago, I ran out of hair. I love how the article writes, right? They're like, she's trying to get away from being Gorilla Glue Girl and starting her hair care line. What does she do? She puts up an Instagram story that shows you Gorilla Glue Girl. Well, it shows her, her it shows you her back when she glued her head or her head with her eyes all wide open. And eyelashes only fit for a damn giraffe. And I'm not saying she looks like those. I'm just saying these are the eyelashes. They're, they're not human eyelashes. It's like, oh, I remember you. Gorilla Glue Girl. What are you doing, girlfriend? And ended up using Gorilla Glue Spray. Bad, bad idea. And results of that, I ended up losing my hair and having scalp damage. But I love the callback. Remember when she Gorilla Glued her head? And she's like, bad, bad idea. <laughs> Bad, bad idea. Kind of like Jimmy J.J. Walker coming in going, Dynamite! Gorilla Glue! Since then, I've been working with professionals to create and formulate a hair root oil. I needed this oil to, one, heal my scalp. I needed to grow my hair. Good God Almighty, she's the Tony Stark of hair growth child. Bless you, sugar. I need for like two months at this point, and look at the results. Look at my hair. My scalp feels amazing. Like she's showing off her hair, right? She's like, look at my hair. Look at it, it's growing. And I'm looking at her hair and all I can think is like, that's the hair baby have. Like that's a two month old hair. Look at that. She got as much hair as Ray Ray. You go girl. I don't believe any of these products are anything more than the usual shit you could buy. Honest to God. It, like the promotion of them make your hair grow is a red flag to me. Now the point I was trying to make earlier is if she came out with her own glue, I might be interested. Because she knows a thing or two about strong, long-lasting glues. <laughs> Honey, I put this glue on my head and it took six months to get it out. That's how good my glue is. That would have been the mean move to make. I honestly think this is going to come out and nobody's going to care except assholes for me. Making fun of the fact that it even exists and I'm also surprised it exists. Once again, this is proof America's great. It is great. We're number one. Not only will we keep you alive if you stupid, but we will reward you if you are exponentially dumb. If you do something so dumb that it's actually awe-inspiring, we will reward you with a career. That's America. I wish I could figure out something dumb I could do to get that famous and rich. But I can't think of anything. I'm not going to glue my butt cheeks shut because I got to take a shit. And there ain't no way you're going to sit there and go, I thought that this was like butt oils or something. Like... How do you come up with something? Man shocks testicles in an effort to make himself taller. I don't know. Oh, thank God. She's going to do shampoos. She's going to do detanglers and even bonnets. Brown shares, but for now, be on the lookout for an edge control gel.
honestly, if you're buying hair care products from someone who got famous on TikTok for gluing their, their hair to their head at 40 something years old, I give up. No, there's no hope for humanity. My head hurts. I can't make a joke of this. She's probably got more money than me.